Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Quanier number 233457. This is their panel line lock side filler. They say that it's 4 0. Um, I believe, I'm quite sure there's only one size of filler for their panel line when it's the lock side or the latch side, the side opposite of the hinges. Um, an exit device is, um, you know, going to be. Uh, the actuating part is going to be, you know, tight close to the the uh, latching side of the door. The pivot style filler that can change when the door width changes, vis-a-vis -vis the device width uh, as well. So this is the um, filler plate for a panel line exit device. Obviously, it would look like this. Just showing you the label. Now the part number is two three three four five seven. This has a dash 17 after that, after it, because it is for, um, it is in the clear aluminum finish. So the codes by Quanier are dash 17 for clear anodized aluminum, dash 29 for black, dash 40 for uh, dark bronze. So this is what the lock style or latch style filler plate looks like. Now, Quanier has three exit devices. They have their panel line. They have their 1686 and they have their 1786. The panel line is quite different than most exit devices because it's the one that's integrated into the mid rail of the door. It's literally built into the door, so to speak. So you'll know that it's clearly different because it won't have the tradition, not traditional, it won't have the modern horizontal touchpad. And obviously, it's not the traditional crossbar style. So it'll be the one that will have a large rectangular actuating surface that will say the word push on it uh, maybe some additional language as well uh, and we'll take a look at the service manual in a moment so some basic dimensional properties of this item overall height about seven and a quarter its overall width about three and fifteen sixteenths its overall thickness it's about five eighths okay let's take a look at the material thickness probably 20, uh, uh, 200 thousandths of an inch. Let's see what the caliper says. Not even close. 0.156. So 156. That's going to be uh, 156. 430 seconds is an eighth. 530 seconds, I would say, is what that's going to, is going to be. Uh, okay, so you'll see that you've got a profile here that it's going to fit obviously into your panel line structure That's going to carry over of course on both sides Let's switch to the screen view now where we can take a look at the supporting documentation Okay, so this is the item that we are looking at not too much to see here But one item of value will be the link to the service parts catalog and before we fire that up, let's take our part number and let's copy that. The service parts catalog, this is from 2018, and we have more than one variation of this uh, because it is, um, it, it, it's been released in different years, and we'll show you where we hide those as well. So we can do a find function on our keyboard for 233457, and we're going to get to that panel line area uh, where we'll see in this 54 page document all the different parts and again you're going to know the panel line it's clearly it's clearly different the when compared to the 1686 which is going to be the um, the 1686 is going to be their concealed vertical rod exit device okay no latch here they're concealed rods up and down the 1786 from six feet away is going to look awfully similar not identical but similar uh, and it's a rim device. It'll have a latch here. Okay, so back to our two, three, three, four, five, seven part number. So the panel line is is clearly an unusual device, uh, but certainly there are other manufacturers who make integrated exit devices with with their doors. It just Kawanier happens to be the um, door manufacturer as well, so they've got a relatively unique exit device here. Uh, other parts are listed here, and that's the point of pointing this out to you. You might very well need the pivot style filler plate, and that's the one that's certainly going to change as the door width changes. And then be mindful of that finish as well. Okay. The 
rest of this document is very handy because it will allow you to review all of the service parts that are published uh, and available, I should say, that are available from Quanir. Uh, so very handy document in that regard. Now, a couple of things. They, they, every part that they publish doesn't mean is available. And let's give you an example of uh, what that is and what I mean by that. This here link to the manufacturer's page, we're going we're gonna to open that up in a moment. But if we were to look at the 1686 exit device from Quanir, Quanir, and look at the installation instructions, we're going to get to the back of the installation instructions, and they list all of these parts here. They identify them. End cap, uh, probably base chassis, what's part one? Exit device, base assembly. Uh, these filler plates, parts two. Part three, the problem is these are not all available. Um, we can get the end caps. I've even been able to purchase the end cap mounting bracket, but the part two and three are not available. Uh, the, the, the filler plates, which they literally call filler, I've been told by the factory they're not available as standalone products. So not everything that's published is available, but reach out to us. I'll be happy to communicate to the factory and find out if those items are available. I had a client recently with a fast food chain uh, the biggest, well, probably the biggest one of all time, um, want to dress up their exit devices. And he was able to get the end caps, but those filler plates, the factory just would not would not supply. So that link to the manufacturer's page, which, again, is here, I'm pointing that out because it will show you links to those other service parts catalogs. So I think the one that's on our page is a 2018 um that's hard link there is the 2018. There's a newer one. There's a 2019 that's here. So by all means, um, review this. This is where we're going to put not only all the Quanir items that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, their full product catalog. When it comes to hardware, we don't have their door catalogs in here. Um, that You would be able to pull that data up from their website. But those service parts catalogs are listed here. We even have one that's you know, 18 years old at this point. Nice to be able to go back in time and see what was available. 2001 hardware list. Neat. You're looking for something that's 20 years old, this would probably be the catalog to move into. Yeah, neat. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, the name Quanir is synonymous with aluminum storefront material. Uh, many other companies make that material. What we like about Quanir is that they really engage in the commercial hollow metal door, architectural wood door distributor uh, ecosystem with that universe. Uh, they are engaging. They will uh, reply. They will. Uh, they want to be a part of the project and partnering up with people such as ourselves that distribute commercial hollow metal doors and wood doors. And, you know, a lot of our client base are walking through the aluminum doors to get right to the wood and steel doors. So it's a, 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 a very um, commonsensical sort of relationship, for I believe, for Quanir to have, in addition to their aluminum storefront installers who or their glass people, which or the locksmith base, um, which all in my opinion, approach the aluminum storefront industry differently. So I think it's a, a, a very appropriate um, relationship for Quantier to have with people such as ourselves because a lot of our business, more so than, certainly more so than the glass industry, uh, is getting calls for, I need a replacement latch, I need a power supply. It's hardware that we're already trying to supply anyway uh, on the material. So there you go. Uh, they have, if you, noticed in that 2001 hardware book there were no panel lines there were no 16 or 1786 devices there were other people's material and that's not the case now uh, not that you probably couldn't order Quanir with a Dormatic or an Adams Wright or whatever you wanted but they have their own devices any questions on the 233457 lock side pardon me lock side filler plate or any other Quanir product please feel free to reach out to us and thank you